Hi world, my name is Gayla and I am a legging holic. First step, admitting. Now, all my legging holics, I need you to go ahead and admit it with me, so say it with me. Hello world, my name is, you fill in the blank. And I am a legging holic. <sighs> Doesn't it feel good to admit? All right. So now that we've gotten it off our chest, ladies, let's talk about it. Fellas, if you're watching it too, you might like leggings. Let's talk about it. So I've had this um, addiction to leggings maybe for about a year and a half now. Um, it's pretty intense. I'd say it's gotten a little worse over the years. I now find myself like just riding randomly and if I see a boutique, I'll just pull over to see what kind of leggings they have in there. I'm a legging fan. I love how they have all different patterns, different designs, and I just love how they fit. So um, today, I'm gonna just talk a little about them, a little about them and you know, a little legging etiquette and show you a couple of my leggings. I'm not gonna show you all of them because I can't give up the juice like that. Plus you'll see them in pictures. And um, yeah, just show you a couple of my leggings and tell you where to get them from if you're a legging lover like me. So um, let's hop into it. Let me get comfy, chill out or whatever. All right, so like I said, I first started this um, legging addiction maybe a year and a half ago. Um, I, w I wear leggings because they're super comfortable first and foremost like I don't like jeans because I'm oddly shaped like I have these crazy big thighs so I would think I would have the butt to match but since I don't want want whatever so like when I wear jeans they're like tighten the thighs kind of loosen the waist and um they're sagging the butt so I end up looking all crazy with the saggy butt like I don't like that look. That look is not hot. It's whack. And I hate not having a butt, but that's a whole other topic that I will talk your ear off about later. So, um, yeah, definitely. The leggings, they fit perfect, and they just are way more comfortable. So, I definitely wear leggings every day if I could. Um, also, I love that they come in different colors, varieties, styles, everything. Now, leggings... Used to be super hot commodity last year or something when all the girls were wearing them. Everybody was wearing them. Then it's died down a little, which I'm kind of glad about it. But I've still had my le my love for them, and I found some amazing pair. So I'll show you them in a second. But let me give you ladies um, some legging etiquette or whatever. You know, like everybody can wear leggings. They're made for everybody. They go up to like, I've seen them go up to four X's. So I know they go up to a nice size for everybody, every size. They're not limited. But <clears throat> here's the thing. If you are going to wear leggings, ladies, ladies, ladies. Now, everybody is not as free as me. So everybody doesn't think it's okay to go without panties. But me... I feel like you, I don't, I don't like leggings and panties. Like, that's just me. Call it nasty. Call me gross. Call me whatever you want to call it. But leggings and panties don't mesh to me. Now, if you absolutely must wear some panties, um, please thong it out, ladies. Only reason I say no panties is because I really, really hate thongs. Like, I've said that before. I hate butt floss. Just not cool to me. So, um, definitely. Panties with leggings, I've been seeing it a lot, ladies, and I told y'all in the blog way before this, um, when I was doing Diva Style, when I blogged about leggings, panties are a no-no. Like, panties and leggings don't match. Nobody wants to see your huge granny panties, especially if you have on some leggings and don't have a shirt to cover up the butt. You definitely shouldn't have on the GPs. Like, save it. If you absolutely have to wear the GPs, save the leggings for another day, like, Leggings, granny panties don't go. Leggings, boy shorts don't go. Unless they're the seamless boy shorts. I do have some seamless boy shorts and they do look perfect with the uh, leggings. So I can definitely say that. But seriously, ladies, you know the deal. Leggings, panties, not hot. That panty line, not hot. So let's, let's like keep that in mind when you think about stepping on some leggings because I see it a lot and I don't like it. 
It's just weird. And if you're going to wear some big old panties, at least wear a shirt to cover your butt. Now, speaking of shirts covering your butt with your leggings, um, girls with the huge butt, they never wear shirts to cover their butts because they want to show them off. I don't have a huge butt, but I rarely wear shirts that, well, I'll wear shirts that touch just the top of my butt, but they never come past it. Um, I wear it like that because it's cute. I'm not super all flabby down there, so I'm not really like trying to hide it or hide my jiggle or whatever. And when I wear the shirt that just touches right at the top of my butt, it actually makes it look like I got a little hump back there. And I'm all for looking like I got a little curve, okay? Because I love booties and I wish I had a big booty. So where the shirt hits right the top top of your butt, makes you look like you got a little curvish there. So you can rock it like that. Um, I see the skinny girls, they wear the little cute shirts that show the belly with the leggings. I mean, that's cute. If that's your steez, I mean, I can't show my belly off, so whatever. I might be a hater in that sense, so I'll, I mean, you can rock it that way, definitely. Or, um, leggings are always cute with, like, long, flowy shirts, I mean. And leggings are all purpose. Like, you can wear them anywhere, to the beach, to picnic. Not to work, though. Like, don't wear leggings to work if you have a corporate job or something. It's casual Friday. Don't go in there trying to be all cute in your leggings, like. Got to draw the line somewhere. But definitely, um, with the shirts, just make sure if you're going to wear them with a shirt that doesn't cover your butt, no visible panty lines, no fat rolls in the front that are like you pulled your leggings over and then tucked your shirt in and then you got visible fat rolls here. That's not okay. Um, what else have I seen with leggings that's absolutely not okay? Oh, Leggings and tights, two different things. Tights are meant to be worn with a shirt that covers your butt. Don't get them confused, ladies. Tights can be seen through. Um, they're not as thick as leggings, and they're not meant to be worn like leggings. They're meant to be worn under skirts and long shirts. So I see a lot of people coming out in tights, and I can see straight through it, meaning I can either see your ass or your panties. Either case. I don't like it. It's not cool. It's weird to me. You should know better and your friend should tell you don't go out the house like that. So definitely tights and leggings are a difference. Tights thinner, leggings thicker. Tights you wear with something covering the butt. Leggings you can wear with something not covering the butt. Difference, ladies. Learn it. Make sure you're proper when you come out. Also, um, leggings... You can wear them with boots, you can wear them with heels, you can wear them with gym shoes if you're working out. Or, you, no, 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 because I seen Tracy Ellis Ross with some um, leggings and Jordans on and she looked kind of dope. So, it depends. And Mia from Glamaholic, she had on some Jordans and some nice little um, design leggings and it was kind of dope. So, you can definitely pair them with a lot, but I like to keep mine with like heels and make it sexy. I'm all about amping up the sex and... I love my thighs, so why not show them off? So, um, what else do I have to talk about legging etiquette? I think that's pretty much it about my legging etiquette because you know everything else, but I see the visible panty line thing. It's just not registering or people just think that's okay. And it's really not. But now that we've went through that in um, legging 11, oh, also, Sometimes, you know, leggings are thin, and if you wear them way too much, they get holes in them or whatever. Like, if you wear them way too much and you're rubbing, and I don't know. Not, I've had one pair of leggings that had holes in them, but leggings with the holes in the middle of your thighs, ladies, because, you know, if you got big thighs, they rub together. Don't keep wearing them, and if you do keep wearing them, wear them as pajamas. Don't wear them out in public. Like, nobody wants to see your inner thighs and those inner it's weird. It's gross again. Once again, ladies, you should know better. So, definitely. Um, I do want to, that's, let me see. Is that it? Yeah, that's about it. As far as my legging etiquette now, um, I'm just going to show you a few pair of leggings that I have. I was trying to decide if I wanted to actually put them on and model them for y'all, but y'all are probably looking like Gayla. That is doing way too much. So, I'm not going to put them on and model them for y'all. Plus, I don't really want to show off my dunk to y'all today, so <laughs> y'all have to check it out later. But 
I'm gonna grab a few pair for you and we'll be right back. So check me in one second, give me one second and I'm gonna go get them and come right back. All right, so I've grabbed the leggings. I had to look through the drawer. I got a drawer just full of leggings and I was picking out my favorite three for y'all. So um, I'll tell you where I got them from. I'll tell you good spots to get leggings from and then we'll end it off so I don't be talking y'all ear off like always. Okay, so here's the first pair. Can you see these? Can you see them? They're so effing, effing dope. Check them out, check them out, check them out. All right, these leggings here. Um, I'll throw them up here so y'all can still check, oh, check them out. Okay, so I got these leggings from um my Ad Candy Boutique. It is located on 6 Mile and... I want to say Evergreen. I don't want to get it too wrong. Yep, right here on Six Mile and Evergreen. Um, it's a little boutique, and um, it has a little hair shop in there as well. Tonisha does hair in there, which she is a bomb hairdresser. So, you know, you can definitely check her out. But it's um her and her sister's boutique, and it's a cute little boutique. I don't really like a lot of boutiques because they don't decorate them and they just have them looking all plain and blah. But my Eye Candy is definitely a cute little boutique. They have amazing accessories in there. Um, they don't have a lot of the same stuff as other boutiques, so that's what I liked about it. And they have nice purses. And I'm not a purse girl, but they have some really cute purses. So definitely go check them out um, in your free time and go up there when you get a chance. They have some very nice stuff and some hot dresses. Okay, so the second pair I have. Okay, let me tell you the story on these before I show them to you. So, I got, okay, I got these leggings that I'm about to show you from Hollywood Hosiery. Um, I was sitting at the gas station across the street from it, and I seen them in the window. And I just got to drooling over them because they were just so amazing. But I saw them from afar, so I had to see them up close. I went to the store like three times every other day. It was closed, so I finally caught them when they was open. And I went in there and lost my mind in the leggings. But that's a whole new story. I bought a whole bunch of leggings, but... These pair of leggings are super dope, and I'm going to show you them. Okay, so here they are. I don't know if you can see them. They've got crazy detailing on them. I'll put them up close for you. they got some faces, some lip prints, okay? Okay, so these ones I got from Hollywood Hosiery once again. Um, that's a little legging shop. It has leggings, it has stockings, it has spanks, it has... Basically, all the hot leg wear that you need. Um, it's located over here on Grand River, and I don't know the exact side street, but it's right, located right next to Body Candy Tattoos, if you know where that's at. Um, and it's just a cute little little hosiery shop where you can get your different leggings and leg wear. So definitely check them out. Um, I don't know their hours or anything, but she definitely has hot things, and all ladies can use the spank in their life, cover up those imperfections. So definitely go check it out. And these leggings, um, I love the lipsticks in them, that blue one, because I have a Keisha Kayor lipstick, that exact same color called Pool Party, and I wore it with these leggings. <sighs> it was H-A-W-T. I swear to God I loved it. Even though the boy said I looked stupid, I was killing him. He was hating. How you doing? Okay, so, in my last pair, my favorite leggings, um, the trend, color blocking. Okay, we all know that everybody is doing it right now. So, why not get some color block leggings? Check them out. Ooh, buddy. These leggings, I seen them. I got them out of Swank. Um, the boutique is located on Southfield Road, right off of 10 Mile, right past 10 Mile. Um, and a little plaza with the curves and the subway. So I got it from there. I got them from there. I was in there just doing a little last minute shopping. And I seen the guy unpacking the boxes. And I'm like, what's those in that box? He's like, leggings. I'm like, I got to have those. So I was like, so I was like the first one to get the leggings. How you doing? Jock my steez. <laughs> I'm just playing. But definitely, I was um, excited to grab those leggings because they're definitely fresh and you can rock them with anything. Um, I'm not as daring as others are. I know um, other people have them and rock them with like colored shoes and stuff and made it look dope. But 
I just let the colors do the talking and I'll wear like something plain with the like the black shirt and then I'll wear the a colored lipstick in there because you know I got like hella Keisha K or lipsticks. So I'll wear a colored lipstick to match one of those colors and those leggings and call it a day. So those leggings um were my top three leggings out of I don't know how many pair I have and those definitely I mean I have way more favorites but I ain't want to be really talking about your off this long because people be talking junk about how long my video blogs be so I just um want to talk to you guys about them show you my legging addiction share my addiction with you because I know it's a lot of legging addicts out there with me and I know you are feeling me and drooling over these leggings and I promise to keep you updated on different legging spots. Um, Juicy Posh inside of Northland. I know a lot of you hate Northland Mall, but I'm glad you do because they have great boutiques and I go in there and find cute stuff that you won't wear. So um, definitely Juicy Posh inside of Northland. They have amazing leggings. I don't know how much you're willing to pay for your leggings because they do get kind of pricey with their leggings, but they definitely have some hot leggings. Um, haven't really been there been there in a minute to check them out, but many boutiques, like any boutique you have or any boutique you can find should have leggings. Like, what's a boutique with no leggings? So definitely, if you're riding by one and you're thinking, Gayla did say that, go in there, get some hot leggings. Tell me so I can get some hot leggings. And we all winning. All right, ladies, so um, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the legging edition. Um, go ahead and always, if you got a Twitter, follow me on Twitter at Hot Gala, H-A-W-T underscore Gala. Um, you can add me on Facebook, Gala I'm So Star Status. I appreciate the love that you guys have been giving me on the video blogs, and I just ask that you keep supporting me and tell a friend about me. Um, all the haters, I appreciate you as well. Um, they say you're not really winning if you don't have haters, so I guess I'm doing a little winning. I get a little hate mail, so haters, I definitely appreciate you and keep giving me those views and talking about it. I love it. Smiles and waves. And I will talk to you all later. Thanks for rocking with me again. Two fingers, do says. I am. Out of here. I got gangster with y'all. Y'all seen it? Out of here. Mm. All right. <laughs> Bye.